Hey guys! This week I wanted to talk to you guys about something that a lot of new moms wonder about. How much clothes do I actually need per size for my baby? I try to keep my personal wardrobe at a minimum. I have 33 items or averaging around there. So when I was looking into how much clothes I was needing for Max when he was arriving, I really didn't know where to start. And I found out that a lot of you guys actually were wondering too. I know there are some people who just go out and buy a lot of stuff and that's great. But some people are interested in how you can do this and not have your whole house explode with baby clothes. So I've been tracking what I've been using for Max for the past 5 months. And I average around 26 items. And that pretty much includes everything. So I'm going to walk you through how I set up my baby wardrobe and then you might get some ideas. Keep in mind, every baby is different. Some have poopy diapers all the time and accidents and some babies spit up all the time you might live at a warmer climate, you might live at a colder climate all of these things of course come into play when you have to choose the clothes Max was born in July so we've had summer wardrobe, we've had fall and we've gone into winter so this pretty much covers everything my 26 items are of course per size, I just want to clarify that now I'm from Denmark and in Scandinavia in general wool is a big thing so my first item is actually two wool undershirts. It transports sweat really well and it keeps the baby dry. This one my grandmom made and then Morten's mom also knitted a few. I use them closest to the body, right on the skin, and it does not itch. I do not use wool in the summer, so this would be for the fall and winter months. Five of these long sleeve bodies. I have some that are thicker. This one is very thin, so I have for different weather. Some go over the head and these ones open up completely, which are dad's favorites. Short sleeve bodies are actually the ones that I've used the least and I thought I was going to use a lot of these, but I just ended up using the wool undershirts all the time. And in these ones, he actually tended to get kind of cold. So when it's warm, I usually just use a long sleeve body that is very thin in the material. And then when it gets colder, I use the wool undershirt. So I haven't found the big need for these, but I did use them in Florida where it was a lot warmer. If I live somewhere warm, I would probably have like five of the short sleeve ones and then only two of the long sleeve ones, but averaging around seven. It's very difficult for me to imagine when I would need more than seven bodies. And for me, the long sleeve ones have just worked out better. Sweaters and warmer shirts like these, they're so cute. I use two, sometimes three of these. When it's winter, I need three. When it's summer, I only need two. And one thing to keep in mind is that babies do not like to have things pulled over their heads a lot of the time. So the ones with buttons down the middle, zips, anything that opens up in the front, it's probably going to be a lot more fun. Onto the bottoms. I love these little baby tights because they kind of hold everything in place. These are from Name It and they're really good quality and I have used them so much. This is actually the same size as I started out with so I have two pairs of these and I've used them for five months now. Get them in a good quality so they actually stay fixed around the bottom and the belly and don't slide down. I have two pairs of baby socks. They're so cute. They're so tiny. <laughs> he can't fit into these anymore. Two pairs per size and that is mostly when I have him in like a very thin pair of pants and then he needs to have something on his feet but he kicks them off all the time. That's why I love the tights. So I tend to go that direction. I just have a few of these because I know I need them every once in a while. So this is sufficient. For fall and winter, I have these knitted wool socks. Morden's mom, she made these and they just really keep his toes really warm. I stick them under the pants so they don't slide off as you see. And if you're looking for a knitting project for the fall, and winter seasons, I think these might be doable because they're so small. I generally only need two pair of pants. Sometimes I've had more than two pairs and I find that I only tend to use two pairs. So get two pairs of really cute pants that your baby can move in and I'd say you're good to go. If you have a girl, you might want a few dresses instead or skirts and that even goes for replacing with the bodies. But I have a boy and I only need two pair of pants. I tried the jeans, but I find that he can't really move in them. So I'm a big fan of everything jersey. Max has two pajamas. He has two of these and that is all that he has needed. 
And yes, he does sleep in his pajamas more than one night. He can go three or four nights in the same pajamas before I wash him and he is completely fine. Two of these and you're good to go. I put two hats on the list and that is because right when they're newborn, a lot of places you use these to put over and cover the ears whenever they're outside because they get ear infections really easily. In the summertime, I would use one of these and maybe a sun hat. We use this one a lot in Florida. Now that we're home and it's winter, he usually has a thin woolen one and then we also have this cute warmer one. So of course it's going to change with the seasons what kind you need, but in general I've only needed two hats at a time. In Denmark it's cold and right now it's winter, so I need one of these whole suits for him. I use this one every time we go outside. I stuff him in it when he needs to go in the car, even if we preheat the car, but it's, it's just cold here. And I use it also when he sleeps in his stroller outside. That is something that we do in Denmark. And yes, it's perfectly fine and legal. The babies love the fresh air. He's on the balcony sleeping right now. And he's wearing one of these. And then he's wearing his feather bed around him. So he's warm and toasty in there. And it makes him sleep for hours when he's outside. So one of these, but you might not need it if you live in a warmer climate. I recently started swim class with Max. And I did buy these little swim trunks for him. And that was actually it for my 26 items. One tip that I want to give you is that for the first month, we actually did not put him in anything but pajamas like this that had buttons or zippers all the way down because I had a very rough delivery. We are new parents, first baby, and everything was new. He was so wobbly and his head was all over the place and changing his diaper just needed to be easy for us. So we went out and we bought six of these kinds of pajamas that open all the way that does not need to go over the head. After he turned one month we started putting him in regular clothes and stuff that went over his, his head. But it just gave us a chance to kind of land on our feet and not have to worry about squishing his head through tight holes it was not enjoyable for us so we went the easy route and if you feel like doing that go ahead and do it don't feel ashamed in any way just do it when you choose to have a limited wardrobe whether it's for yourself or for your baby it's really good to always make sure that the colors go together somehow i chose my neutrals to be a lot of gray and whitish so the light grays and that is basically just because if you choose black if they spit up and stuff, everything is visible on darker colors. So I went with the grays, I love them, and then I just have a lot of different blues with it. All of these light blues and grays I can actually wash together in, one, in the same load of laundry, so that makes the whole laundry situation a lot easier. If you have a lot of different colors, you might have to section it out and do more loads, which is just a hassle to me. So going with these simple colors, gray and blues and whites, which I love, by the way, <laughs> it was a lot more practical. So keep your colors in mind when you choose a limited wardrobe. Some people might be like, oh, how can you choose light colors for a baby? You're gonna have poop stains all over. Well, I actually haven't had that problem too much. We prioritize really early on to buy the more expensive diapers and it does cost more, but they seriously, they hold in almost everything. Max is five months now and I think through those five months, we've only had maybe seven or maybe 10 accidents in total. So spending the money on the better diapers has worked out really well for us. I'm not saying that more expensive diapers are necessarily better. You just have to find out what works and we tried some cheaper ones and every time stuff came spilling out the sides. I'm sorry, TMI, but that's just the way it was for us. So good diapers just makes it easier on the clothes. It does not get ruined as much. And I have really good stain remover, so it hasn't been a big problem. You only have 26 items of clothes for your baby. How often do you have to do your laundry? I do them in average every four days. I am not the kind of person who need my baby to have clean clothes on every day. I do not mind him wearing the same long sleeve body two, maybe three days in a row if it doesn't get dirty. He doesn't crawl around in the dirt outside. He doesn't really get dirty. So for now and for this age, doing laundry every four days has worked out perfectly. I usually mix hours in and then every four days I do two, maybe three loads of laundry, and they're small loads. Just two more items that I want to address is not necessarily a part of his wardrobe, but we 
did find that we needed these little bandanas. We have about six of these and it's just because he tends to drool a lot and then if he does spit up, this catches most of it and does not go on his clothes. Keep in mind to keep them in light colors as well, otherwise they will look disgusting and nasty really, really fast. So this is as dark as I would go and preferably a lot lighter. We also have a lot of these ones and they're old fashioned cloth diapers and we use them as burp rags. I have, I think we have about 25 of these or something. We use the light ones for when he spits up and when he needs to burp and stuff like that. And then we use these ones to dry him when we change his diaper. These ones, the blue ones, we use at his change station to put him on. So if he has an accident while we're changing him, we only need to just remove this one, put a new one on and that's it. So very versatile and we've needed quite a lot of them. It, the need is slowing down a little bit more now because he's not spitting up as much, but we've needed around 25 to keep up. Look who's up from his nap. What do you think about having a minimal wardrobe? Huh? Do you have an opinion? <laughs> That's what I thought. Most babies, they really don't care. They just want to be with mommy and daddy. So don't go overboard in the clothes department if you don't see the need to. That's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them in future videos. Hit subscribe and share with your friends if you know anyone who you think might benefit from this video. And then we'll see you guys next time. Bye!